What is up, Retro Maniacs? Mike from Mike's Retro Trading Cards. Today we're going to open up a hobby box of 2021 Topps Chrome WWE cards. We're also going to talk a little bit about the big news in the wrestling card industry. Okay, this should be a lot of fun. Uh, Topps Chrome WWE Hobby Box. Get two autographs per box guaranteed. Also get different refractors. You get gold refractors, number parallels. Won't get into all that. Get this opened up here. Topps WWE, Topps Chrome is always the most fun to open, I think. Very popular set. A little more inexpensive than some of the other sports cards out there. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun rip. These order here. Also going to talk a little bit today about the big news in the wrestling card industry. Uh, obviously, most people probably heard by now that Panini is taking over the WWE license beginning in 2022. Uh, probably going to be all over the place with people's opinions about that, but. Personally, I think there's good and I think there's bad with that. You're going to have, obviously, the addition of the Prism line is going to be very exciting. I believe that's supposed to be their first release. That's supposed to be out around April. So, going to be a lot of interest in that. Uh, probably going to bring some new collectors into the hobby. A lot of people out there that are collect all the different prism stuff it's done really well with the ufc so i would expect with wwe that it should continue with the popularity of that card uh i don't know i mean i hope i hope it's not terribly expensive that's my one concern the top products for the most part are pretty reasonably priced but just don't know five timers club stone cold uh, yeah, so some of the hobby product from from Panini Direct is, is really expensive. So hopefully, hopefully with the WWE stuff, they'll realize it might not be the best approach. Keep, a, keep those cards a little more affordable for everybody that wants them. Uh, retail could be tough. Panini releases a lot of retail. So Roman Reigns Refractor. So... A lot of people like to buy up their retail product and flip it. Hopefully, WWE isn't going to be something that flips it too big of a markup. So, maybe that'll keep the flippers out of that. But, uh, overall, I don't know. I'll give it time, see what happens with it. Really can't say until we hear a little more what their plans are, what their pricing is going to be, what cards they're going to come out with. But, it'll be interesting for sure. But, back to this box. Not talking about that. Have another five timers, Kofi. Been thinking about maybe putting a refractor set together. Not really sure. Like I said, you get two autographs guaranteed per box. They have a number of different colored base parallels. Shotzi Blackheart, gold autograph out of 50. Very nice. Put some of the odds up here. Not sure how well you can see that stuff there, but a lot of different stuff there. It's a fun rip. Like I said, can't go wrong opening up a box of wrestling cards. We Shayna Baszler, number seven out of 25. Pretty cool. And 
we have our other auto. Seth Rollins, 199. It's actually my second Seth Rollins autograph. Not going to complain about that. Unfortunately, with two autographs per box, that means our big hits are, are gone already. Maybe we'll get something else cool. Who knows? Karrion Cross. Boy, I wish they would do something a little better with him. Lexa Refractor. So Champa watched his match the other night with Braun Breaker. That was good. Can't wait for his cards to come out. Three cards in that pack. and cross just let the guy do his gimmick from NXT I don't understand why they let guys get over in NXT and then they mess with them when they go up to the main roster but oh Drew McIntyre autograph number 19 out of 25 wow so guess we weren't done not going to complain about that three autos usually have that kind of luck so pretty happy with that five timers club Trish 46 out of 99 green parallel Daniel Bryan Stack here. Still haven't gotten our in your house card. Love that insert set. It's like everybody else thinking about maybe putting a set of that together. Double Bridge Hall. Not many rookie cards in this set. Finn Ballard. Down the last three. There we go. Keith Lee. Those cards are so cool. Not the easiest to get in a soft sleeve, I'll tell you that, but still a great card. Working. All right, we are down to our last pack. Riddle, Shell Benjamin, King Corbin, and Cesaro. But there you are. Very nice box. Kind of surprised to get three autographs out of it. And two numbered, two colored parallels, excuse me. There's Seth Rollins. Shot C out of 50. Then the Drew McIntyre out of 25. Very nice. All right. I'll do it for this one. Uh, Going to have a lot more content coming out soon. So remember, if you like what you watched here, give us a comment, you know, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and follow us on Twitter, uh, Mike's Up for Deck 1. Yeah, follow me on there. I list cards for sale every now and then, but get into some wrestling talk. So 
Thanks for watching.